What's going on, Ken folk? We are back with another video, and this time we are in this thing with Vlogmas Day Three. And if you guys don't already know, I'm not actually doing vlogs. I'm doing like different challenges and different other kind of videos just to kind of switch it up this year. For this video, we're gonna do 10 things I can't live without. Now I see GQ do this all the time, so I was like, maybe I should try to do this on my own. This should be fun, and I'm gonna give you guys a very good 10 things I really just know I can't live without personally. So let's get into it. First up is for the content creators. This here is a iPhone tripod. Now, I used to take a lot of my pictures on my phone before I did switch to a camera and it came in handy. You can also use it for video because this thing right here rotates, you know what I'm saying? So you can get the vertical style videos, you can get the horizontal style videos. So this really came in handy. It stands up pretty tall, boom, stable, you can make it work. So anybody looking to start out doing content creation, whether that's Instagram, TikTok, whatever, this here comes in handy. It's a nice little, little phone tripod. Easy. You can fit inside of a bag. It's very small. It's not that big. Easy to hold. Light. Yeah, I recommend one of these to any and everybody. Even if you do have cameras, still have a phone tripod because you never know when it will come in handy. Next up, we got the handy dandy controller. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm actually a gamer and I'm pretty damn good at Call of Duty. If you want to test it, feel free. Yeah, this is, I've had this controller for probably about two years. I normally go through controllers very frequently because I play I play on them so much and the analog start to mess up after a while. This one here has been holding it down for a long, long, long time. This is actually a Battle Beaver. If you don't know what a Battle Beaver is, it's actually, a, it's like a scuff controller, but this one here just has but, buttons on the back. You know, press X without having to take my thumb off the thumbstick, if that makes sense. We got the control freaks on there. You know, your boy gotta have crispy aim. So I have to get the control freaks and yeah, man, you know, I can't live without this. I love playing a game. It's like, it gives me like a peace of mind. I can go into another world, just kind of vibe out, me and my homies. And we, yeah, man, man, we just get it in on Warzone, Call of Duty, Red Dead Redemption, all kind of stuff, man. We just really just go in now. If you're an OG and you really just been following me, then you already know what I'm like. What? You already know what it's like on that Call of Duty. You know I'm really him. I'm really him at the. Now we're gonna go into jewelry. Now, if you know me personally, you know I'm not a big fan of diamonds, real, fake, whatever. I'm just, I, I really just don't care for them. But I had did a brand deal with GLD to where they sent me these two pieces here. And now these are probably my most worn jewelry pieces. It's cause I mean, I just like the vibe of them. Yeah, I did a really dope video to them outside by the pool. Came out dope. And this is really good quality, holds up pretty well. I don't need to go out and spend, you know what I'm saying, forty, fifty thousand dollars for the equivalent. These work perfectly fine for me. And that's just me being honest. Some may be like, oh yeah, that's whack. Some may be like, yeah, I need to go shop there. But it's really up to the to the individual on how they feel and how they how they, you know what I'm saying, how they like to spend their money. Now, with that being said, this is a piece that I absolutely love. It's a Versace choker, super dope, heavy quality, super heavy. I only can wear this for a certain period of time because this thing does get pretty, it gets pretty heavy on the neck, but it's a piece that I, I don't wear too often. I might wear it like here and there, but in terms of like out or just going somewhere, I probably won't really wear it that much. It's normally like a picture piece that I, I like to wear or if I'm really just, you know, in the mood to wear it. But yeah, this is like two of my favorite jewelry pieces. Like I said, these right here being my most worn. I wear them all the time, pictures, out, dinners, whatever. More than likely got these on. Now we're gonna move over to hats. Now I have a ton of hats, like a ton of hats, snapback. Now all my hats will for sure be snapbacks. I can't do fitties mainly because I'm always switching my hairstyles and I'm always having different, sometimes my hair could be thick, sometimes it could be thinner. So if I do fitted hats, sometimes they may fit, sometimes they don't. So I normally just do snapbacks. Every single hairstyle I get, more than likely we'll be able to go into a ponytail so I can always pull it through the loop in the back. And yeah, we can make it work, you know? So I got pretty much every color you can think of when it comes to hats, black, white, blue, green, red, pink, white. You gotta stay with different colors, different styles and whatnot, you know? So yeah, I'm a big, huge hat guy. I probably got around, uh, I wanna say about like 30 pairs of hats. Like, like, well, maybe like 25, maybe not that many. But I definitely got a, quite a few hats, quite a few hats. Shout out to my tattoo artist, that's his brand. Super fire, got the red undertone. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, shout out to my boy. Now we're gonna move over to some like, some more essential pieces like the, 
the, the phone tripod and whatnot. So this right here is probably my favorite lens. Can't live without this. Like I need to take this everywhere I go. I use it for thumbnails, pictures, IG reels. Like this is my most used lens. It's a Sigma Art 35 millimeter. And this thing does it, it does it all. I'm be honest, like it literally does it all. Yeah, this thing is a powerhouse, powerhouse. You can use it to shoot anything. It gets the detail shots, it gets the outfit shots. And get everything so it's like i said my most used lens i'm gonna use it to take the thumbnail that you guys see on this on this video it takes all my pictures like this this right here this this is it this is the one that i need constantly all day every day no matter where i'm at where i'm going this lens will be with me despite any other lens this is the one that i'm gonna take with me everywhere all right next up we got a nice little youtube journal or whatnot and i say youtube journal because youtube actually gave this to me i use it to write down you know all kind of ideas all kind of things as you can see you know i use it to write down all kind of ideas all kind of things i'm feeling different podcast ideas different everything i'm the type of guy where i like to get everything on paper in front of me so i can always have something to refer back to it's like the equivalent of using the notes app in your phone but me personally, it just feels a little different when you have things written down. You know, it's just it just feels different. I don't know, maybe you guys can relate, maybe you can't, but I definitely like to get my ideas right, written down, my feelings written down, just all kind of things. I'm a really big guy that likes to write. Yeah, man, I mean, I advise everybody if you're looking to do content creation or whatever it may be, I advise everybody to get a journal to really just kind of get your thoughts and ideas in front of you on paper. So you can always refer back to them. You can always write write in different revisions, things like that. It's a lot more simpler than using a notes app, at least to me. These here are my most worn eyewear. Now I have shades. I have a couple of different colors of shades, mostly for photo shoots or mostly for pictures. But when it comes to just in general, like these here are unmatched. It's Ray-Bans, black on black, clean frame you know these are these are a classic if we're being honest these are some classic shades at dinners events all kind of things you know it's never it's not too much it's not too flashy it's kind of really like incognito but it's like i'm serious at the same time i'm a fun guy but i'm serious i'm a fun guy but i'm serious you know what i'm saying so these here are an essential piece to the wardrobe no matter what like i said they're black so they go with a multitude of things yeah these these right here are are needed always so now we're gonna break out a couple watches now i'm not the biggest gucci guy or whatever but i do have three watches that i think are different from you know like the average watch or whatnot or the average thing that you may see people wearing so we got this one here it's a black with a yellow with a yellow word written in, written in between it says real very very unique you won't see mm, you really won't see somebody with this on which is why it gives you that that different kind of feeling you know what i'm saying like it it makes you stand out if somebody sees this on your wrist and be like wow that's that's something you don't see every day this here is like my casual piece like if i'm going like a wedding or a formal event and you really want to have something that has like a a different kind of band rather than like a metal band this is my go-to piece it's another gucci piece it has like the different gucci emblems for the dials you got the butterfly the star whatever this other symbol is but it really 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 stands out and then we got another piece got another piece a yellow and silver it's got a cat in the middle of it which is actually pretty dope you know what i'm saying again with the dials it's got the different different symbols whatnot it's got the gucci at the top but yeah just a really well put together watch I love it, wear it very frequently. And then last but not least, the one on my wrist. I mean, I don't really gotta say too much about this one, but probably my favorite watch. I wanted this watch for a long time. I honestly don't know why I waited so long to get it, but this is my most worn watch, hands down. Like this is my most casual worn watch, period. Whether I wear this everywhere, literally everywhere. Yeah, I mean, this, these are just a few of my pieces. And then last but not least, this is actually my, my travel bag that I take everywhere carries my laptop, cameras, uh, watches, jewelry, uh, anything I can fit in here that doesn't go under the plane goes into this bag. It holds up pretty well. I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been jet skiing with this bag, ATV riding with this bag, which is why it's dirty. This here is the bag that I take everywhere. No matter where I'm going, what I'm doing, this is the bag that I trust the most. It's very good quality, holds up well. I've spilled things inside of it. I've dirtied it up, uh, you know, I, I hold on to it because this thing here, it, it does what it needs to do. It gets the job done, you know? It's got these little clips here. So if somebody tried to 
You know, even if somebody walking behind you and they try to slip the bag up, mm -mm. let's say they do slip it up, still got this drawstring they gotta get into. So it's a very secure bag. Holds, like I said, holds up pretty well. So that are pretty much 10 things that I know, I, me personally, I can't live without. I need all of it, every single item that I named. Yeah, that's pretty much all of the 10 things that I can't live without. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, man, you know, let me know if you wanna see more sit down, different kind of videos like this. We got a long way to go to Vlogmas is over. This is just day three, guys, so stick around. I love you, we out of here. Peace.